I decided to uh, go to the thrift store and see what I could get for in the way of materials. And they had ties there uh, that are, uh, cost me 50 cents each. So the project I'm working on right now costs a total of $13 for materials. And then I had to do some experiments uh, with gluing these on to mat board and I ended up with uh, wood glue. I would be able to glue it on to the surface and uh, after about uh, half a day I was able to uh, trim those pieces or cut them or shape them without the material uh, coming off the background. So now I'm going to be gluing the uh, pieces on the bottom. All the top pieces were cut in, in duplicate. So I have an exact duplicate of the top in the reflection at the bottom. This will dry in uh, about 15 minutes. It's wood glue. It's recommended you clamp it for uh, 30 minutes, but uh, sometimes I check earlier than 15 minutes because I might want to reposition something. I'm going to create perspective by tinting the windows using a warm color on the outside, graduating to lighter and lighter with added white to the center, which will give it a, a, a distance in the center and a close up on the outside. And it'll preserve the idea that the background is created like a box. Now to tint uh, the cloth with colors, I will thin the paint with a lot of added varnish so that I don't have to lose the uh, quality that I want through uh, it soaking up and I, I might run out of color too. You have to apply a lot of paint uh, because it's a porous surface. Then uh, you can blot it and uh, the pattern of the material comes through. Uh, I'm using the same color as I'm working toward the center. I am lightening this color. This uh, varnish is thin enough to uh, make the uh, transition uh, very uh, gradual. Actually, everything you see and where you live and the flavor and the atmosphere are all influence what you're doing. Subconsciously, uh, you're drinking in 
um, all of these um, experiences, sometimes it's, uh, it's years before they materialize in your uh, work. When I was working as a restorer in a museum, uh, back at the end of the Mesozoic Age, I did have experiences there that only came out 30 years later uh, when I was doing uh, collage work.